three-point shooting, obviously you knew about that. It has to be tough to replicate in a practice situation. No, it's not tough. We just failed. Uh, they got a great team. Uh, we, failed, we failed in a couple areas tonight. Okay, it, you know they made shots, but uh, a lot of their three-point makes were off second and third opportunities. We failed in taking care of the ball. They had 16 points off our turnovers. And they had 14 second chance points. So uh, you can't give a team, top 20 team at home, with their kind of talent. You, you can't give them 30 points. You know you can't. You, you play great. Deep. It's hard enough to guard them. Our number one thing was got to hold this team to one shot. You got to hold them to one shot, and uh, we failed in that. Second thing, you got to take care of the ball. You cannot turn the ball over against a team like this because it's like throwing gas on the fire. When you go, you can't just give them layups because they're not going to give you layups. So you can't just give them layups. We gave them a, we gave them three or four just point just lay unguarded layups because of our turnovers. Uh, and. And their three-point shooting, Scott, was a uh, uh, it was a defensive breakdown. We we kept getting it wasn't their shooting as much. It was it was our inability to keep the ball in front of us on one side of the floor. We kept letting them drive to the paint, causing us to help and uh, allowing them to to and they did a great job. Give them credit. I mean they. Anytime we overhelped, we got beat. They found the open man, and they and but then when they missed, we didn't get the rebound. So uh, they were the better team. They got a great team. I'm glad we played this game because uh, they can hurt you. Everything you're supposed to do right, if you don't do it right, they'll hurt you. They'll make you know. They can really make you pay. They got they got they got high level players that are veterans now. They've been starting for two, three, four years, uh, and. Uh, you know, we learned some hard lessons. Too. It was tied at 45, I think, about halfway through the second half, and then you all went about five minutes without scoring. What kind of didn't get shots off? Yeah, what kind of bogged down? I we didn't get shots off. Can't score, you keep turning it over. That was our biggest problem in that stretch. We didn't get shots off. Now I don't have obviously on a good sure. book, but you know, I, I know there was, there was way too many. And I will say this too: when when it was tied at 45, I would, in my opinion, when you should be winning a game. And you're not. You're in trouble. And uh, I think at that point we had uh, had the game pretty much going the way we wanted it, but we had given away so many possessions and given them so many second shots that the game was tied. And uh, their talent was eventually going to come to the front, and they got great talent. Uh, but I think in that stretch, you know, we just didn't get shots off. You don't get rebound too much, but you also were in foul trouble. Yeah, foul trouble hurt us tonight. You know, go ahead, Keith. Uh, Nas, Nas has got to learn to play without fouling. You know, not especially Nas because it's an epidemic with him right now. I got to do a better job coaching him. Uh, even even in, at UNLV, the Xavier game, uh, even the Northern Kentucky game, I mean, he's burying himself with early fouls over and over again. How tough is it for you to play when you have to put Fredericks in? trying to learn a couple of positions and he had a six five guy. Yeah, well he played all right though. He had five offensive rebounds. He played with great energy. Mm -hmm. You know, I think he you know he he, he gave us a lot. Uh, obviously Kane was a rough night for him. Obviously you gotta wipe this away pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real tough uh, you know, coming in Wednesday. Uh, I'd rather play some uh, somebody like UCLA. Be honest with you, you know. I think it, it, it's it's why I scheduled them. It's why you know we're here, um, you know, because it, it's you got to you got to get reality to get ready for conference play. And the only way you're going to get better is to uh, to play talented teams. You mentioned they were going to be tough at home. You've seen it now. Uh, what are you going to tell people? Tell them at Mississippi State. Right. Oh, I told our team if we win here, we might be the only team that wins here all year because Tennessee doesn't come here. I'll be shocked if Mississippi State loses a home game this year. So it was going to be it was going to be a tremendous tremendous test for us tonight. That's the type of team they have. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.